What's happening, beautiful people? My name is Dirty Mike, and welcome to the top five silver fullbacks or outside defenders. And we've got a classic, a lot of lovely players on display. And if we could smash 500 likes on this video, that would be amazing, absolutely epic. And if you guys could drop a comment, let me know who's in your top five. Do you agree with mine? Do you disagree? I'm always open for feedback and suggestions. And before we get into all the details, if you guys need Ultimate Team Coins, check out UT Coins for you. The links will be in the description. And make sure to use the code MICHS09, M-I-C-H-S-09, in order to get an additional 5% off on every single purchase. To kickstart things, we've got the honorable mentions. These fellas just missed the cut, and we're beginning with Bootner. 5'8", 3-star, weak foot, 3-star, skill moves, long shot taker trait, 86 sprint speed, 82 shot power, 80 for jumping. It would be nice if he was a little bit taller and for a short fullback. He's not that quick. He does have good speed, but he's just not that quick. I wish his agility was a bit higher. Then we got Halabas, 6 foot tall, 2-star, weak foot, 3-star, skill moves, 88 sprint speed, 87 acceleration, 84 shot power, 75 long shots, as well as great strength. You're not going to push him around. He's a good athlete. But he's kind of a subpar defender, and that's a little bit of a downer. And then we've got Pander, who's a little bit of a different type of outside back. He's not fast at all. He is six foot tall. He's got two-star weak foot, three-star skill moves. He has the long shot taker trait. And he's one of the best defenders in the game in terms of driving the ball, scoring from distance, 90 for curve, 89 shot power, 88 crossing, 87 long shots, and 86 free kick accuracy. But he's just not fast. He's a slow outside back, and it's going to let you down as the match starts to roll on, and you've got to recover. On to the second section of honorable mentions, and we've got our first non-rare sighting, Villums. 5'6", 4-star weak foot, 4-star skill moves. He's got a 90 for jumping, 83 balance, 82 sprint speed. And he's a, a bit of a poor goal scorer, and he's a decent defender, but he can get up there. He can facilitate. He can wiggle and work with those skills. Then we've got Fagner, also 5'6". He's going to cost you a lot of coinage. Three-star weak foot, three-star skill moves. And he's the definition of a speedster. 92 acceleration, 91 agility, 91 sprint speed, 91 stamina, and 86 for balance. He's going for the entire match. He is kind of weak. He doesn't have great size, but he's a good defender, and he will chase down that wing, whether you're attacking, whether you're defending. He's a good investment if you've got some extra coins just hanging around. You need them to spend on something new. And then we've got Tishimanga, 5'10", 3-star weak foot, 3-star skill moves, and I've been using and abusing with this guy lately. 93 acceleration, 91 sprint speed, 87 jumping, 85 agility, 83 stamina. And he's a terrible goal scoring threat, but he can facilitate. He can whip in some crosses. And I thought his positioning at times could have been a little bit better. Let's get started with the countdown. And we've got Luke Shaw. He's got a lot of potential. He's on an upgraded card. Six foot tall, three star weak foot, two star skill moves. 99 stamina, 85 sprint speed, 84 acceleration, 83 standing tackle, and 80 for interceptions. He's not a good attacker, but he is a great defender, so it's kind of about picking your poison. At number four, we've got a player that I have no idea how to pronounce his name. I'm going to go with Engwa. He's 5'9", 3-star weak foot, 3-star skill moves, has the early cross-taker trait, 91 acceleration, 88 sprint speed, 85 jumping, and he's just a lot better than his card value statistics. Uh, once again, another one of those outside defenders that's not good at attacking, but his defense is on point. He's locked and loaded. He's going to shut down the opposition. At the midway point, we've got a super silver, and he's the best left back in the French League. Sis, 5'8", 3-star, weak foot, 2-star, skill moves, 90 for jumping, 87 acceleration, 84 sprint speed, 84 strength, and an 81 for agility. He's got to be crossing if he's running down that wing, but he recovers well. He's able to dictate the play with that strength. He wins a lot of headers. I wish that he was 5'10", 5'11", but I don't have many negatives to talk about my man, Sis. At the runner-up position, we've got the German Diekemeyer, 6'2". Two-star, weak foot, three-star skill moves. He's a power defender, 90 acceleration, 90 sprint speed, and he defends so much better than a 71, which is what they have on his card value. He feels relatively strong, even though his stats don't say that he should be that strong. And he's a defense-first player, and those are the kind of outside defenders I would actually prefer. Fantastic size, and he's just going to push and shove and make things happen. He's a big body. Top in the charts, we've got the most consistent and probably the most well-balanced silver fullback in FIFA 14. 
Adi, he's six foot tall, the Brazilian, three star, weak foot, two star, skill moves, he's getting relatively old, actually he should be probably retiring, I think he's 38 or 39, he's got the power header trait, 91 agility, 86 acceleration, 85 strength, 83 jumping, and an 80 for sprint speed, and he's simply amazing, he does absolutely everything well on the pitch, even for his age, whether you're defending, you're attacking, he's got you covered. But if you guys enjoyed the video, drop a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and follow me on Twitter at Mike's on USA. And I have a lot more content coming for you at you ASAP, ASAP.